With much fanfare, here she is, the number one strawweight contender. This is a five-tool player, ladies and gentlemen. One of the best 115-pound fighters we've ever seen. A fighter that many fans believe already is the number one fighter in this division. Now, though, her chance to prove it, to get the hardware, to get the gold, and attach UFC strawweight champion to her name in perpetuity. I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me, ain't nobody like that I ain't gonna wait, that's all fact, give me one shot and I'll never get the throne back I'm sick of being cautious, I'ma go cause some pain, can't stop this I'ma steal everybody's name, cut a shop list, sick of hearing everyone's So much depth out, 115 pounds, but they're all still chasing her like Yeah, they are, the undisputed UFC strawweight champion And she's got the confidence that belies the champion as you see her make this walk here tonight She won the belt with flying colors, defended it with style points and that's the same goal here tonight. She really is a fighter that maintains a calm demeanor, takes it fight by fight. She has aspirations to be the greatest of all time. She is well on her way. Our tale of the day for this strawweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this here is the main event of the evening. With the octagon, we're going to the octagon in London. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Championship of the world. Baby, I'm Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 18 wins, 5 losses. She stands 5 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Introducing the challenger. UFC belt on the line, we'll take a second all time, we'll win like a man at all time. If you want to touch that, we'll win down the back of your They touch them up and we are underway. Oh, I have 
well positioned for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous years. She has a tremendous amount of success in the position because she's so knowledgeable. She keeps the right side under her and she just goes to work with that left arm. She's posted an elbow, she's building her posture, punching. There are just so many different ways for her to score strikes from this position. Oh, she gets the takedown there, DC. Now we'll see what she can do with it. Let's see how she secures the position and she works on her again. Lands another uppercut there. She's landed a few of those here tonight. That might have been the biggest. That was the best one. You can see her opponent start to stab her back a little bit. She didn't see that. But she expected the right hand to come straight. So she slips and ducked her head a little bit. Unfortunately, she ducked her head right to a beautiful uppercut. Liver kick. Hit those kicks. It's going to stretch your body off. Man, her striking looks clean tonight. Timing on point. Her timing's on point. Her accuracy you get up and go down as another take down attempt lands. Both fighters back to their feet now. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I can kind of just watch it in these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly draining at the gas tank of your opponent. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Boom. Beautiful connection by her on that one. She's so fast. Well, she's really come out guns blazing here to start this fight. A lot of shots to the body, to the head. And really the aggression, I think, of the matchmakers and UFC president. Oh! Can't take pictures now. Oh! Gedalia better move. Oh! And we got a fight on our hands. All right, nice job by her to sort of shell up defensively here and prevent any of these shots from getting through. She is taking no another. Gedalia gets the takedown there. One more minute to go in our opening round. Nice punch, Lance. Gedalia's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some of You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish this fight? Do you believe it? Stewart, oh my goodness! What a performance! That was a good stoppage by the referee. She was not effectively defending herself, and the opponent was doing some real damage. It became a dangerous situation. I think it's the right call by the official, and she will live to fight another day. champion and he believes without a shadow of a doubt that he is the best 170 in the world and he is out to prove it right here right now UFC welterweight champion in the division full of killers. He is playing the hunt at 170 pounds. Now, everybody comes here staring at his toughest challenger to date. Can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter in one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. I think I need a new lobotomy. Wait, all these thoughts are too negative. I don't want to get lost in the sedative. Gotta show him what I got. I'm competitive. You know I'm about to go off. I won't let him win. I'll take a stab. I want to chase a bag. I want to weigh. I can change all the things I lack. I got a I got a taste in that, got me obsessed with the rest, I got an itch to scratch. 
or kill the tape for this or main event of the evening. McGregor is 10 years his senior. The reach is identical. And now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening.
Not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. YCC, no telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Abe LeVing has called a stop to this contest. In the two minutes, 58 seconds of the very first round. Let's go. Declare the winner. Uh, I like a little bit of dream. I'm a bit of a mess. I'm a bit of a mess. I'm a bit of a mess. So the celebration is officially on after a successful UFC welterweight title defense here tonight. He will go out the same way he came in as the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. He is your winner by knockout. And one way to stay there till I feel like I'm winning all. And this is just the beginning. I need a big change. Help me feel like living. I need a big swing. Home runs I'm hitting. And I'll never look back. Moving on till I get it all. With much fanfare, here she is, the number one strawweight contender. This is a five-tool player, ladies and gentlemen. One of the best 115-pound fighters we've ever seen. A fighter that many fans believe already is the number one fighter in this division. Now, though, a chance to prove it. She kept the hardware to get the goal and attach UFC strawweight champion to her name in perpetuity. So much deep now at 115 pounds, but they're all still chasing her. Yeah, they are. The undisputed UFC strawweight champion. And she's got the confidence that belies the champion. As you see her make this walk here tonight, she won the belt with flying colors, defended it with style points, and that's the same goal here tonight. She really is a fighter that maintains a calm demeanor, takes it fight by fight. She has aspirations to be the greatest of all time. She is well on her way. Whatever makes me happy, know I'm doing things right. Sipping in the summer on a goose and Sprite. Or find a nightclub for the end of the night, oh. Our tale of the day for this, our main event below the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach. All right, to get us started with the official introduction, here is first ball. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, the referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the Sold Out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Strawweight Championship of the World. This woman is a Muay Thai kickboxer. Only professional record out. 16 wins, 7 losses. You look great. I like you. I can't wait. I first time. I first day. You look fine. I'm so much time. You said wine. My drink's straight. Don't waste time. It's my place. I feel loud. Party place. I'm the rest who catch me in the This woman is a kickboxer. Making a professional debut here tonight. Ready to score takedowns and me. Given this matchup on tape, we were expecting really to glorify kickboxing match here in the mixed martial arts. They can get to the top court tonight because we don't need them. This is going to be all striking. Leave that catch for the enemy. Don't touch it. Cover it with a piece of tape. You don't need it. Striker versus striker both have the mentality that they just want to put damage on their opponents and they don't want to do it on the mat. Good body shot. Just have to answer the 
big right hand. Timing her shots nicely here tonight, DC. She's doing a great job. But not only being active, she is so accurate. She's on point sight. That's a big strike right here. And there she goes using the jab effectively yet again. Her opponent's got to raise that guard where this fight could end. So. Well, she's going to have to do something. I think she's going to her head off the center line. If the hands go up, the jab goes to the body, then the jab goes to the head. If you start worrying too much about her jab and cup, she'll just start. Oh, my goodness. She blocked the punch. Back and forth we go. JoJo starting to wear it a little bit. And she lands a punch there. We'll see if she can start to turn these singles. Wow. Big kick land. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch out the push. You have got to clear that collar side, reach back to side, and try to find space. Watch the fighters in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly draining at the gas tank of your opponent. Over and over. You come up, you go down. Another takedown land. Oh, well played there as she gets back to her feet. Oh, and she connects there. Beautiful punch. Great punch, but what's next? What is she going to use to follow it up? Well, she's come out swinging early as expected. True metal. Sit down, folks! Ladies and gentlemen, you know this is a belt that frequently changes hands. Well, it hasn't since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist. Given all the skills he brings to the table, the question is, fighting a challenger like this, can he hold on to the belt? If he can, 
just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen. for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Special debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 150 pounds. Fighting out of Kinshasa, Congo, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, the chosen. Bad. Knee to the body. Hey, hands up. Back your face. 
Big punch lands through the middle. This guy's landing at a pretty decent clip. Now goes Dennis, secures the takedown. Back to the feet. So he grabbed pleasing approach for him here in round one. He has landed early, he has landed often, and this is really the aggressive approach. Oh, collar side. Oh! He's done, he's done. What a performance. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So, a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen at every level. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in his championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeffrey Hurd here to come stop this contest. Three minutes, 29 seconds, very good round. All right, so there he is, the still undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, and certainly getting the title defended with style points here tonight. He's your winner by now. He's just a great fighter. He does everything the right way. Lands a beautiful shot to end the fight. Keeps his belt. You can see the big smile as he celebrates with his family.